Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. And now, it's time, probably, I believe, to head back to the garden. No, the, what's it called? The, the bedroom. I know the words that I'm trying to think of. Okay, well anyway, now that we're here, we have, I believe, a star in pretty much every level to do here. The ones I haven't completed yet, the main three. There's usually about three main world, or main galaxies in each world, so. Let's start off with, uh, I think, Gusty Garden Galaxy. Gusty Garden's Gravity Scramble. Okay, well, let's get started. We don't need any more star bits, unless there's a Hungry Luma. But I don't think there's going to be any more Hungry Lumas inside of levels. I'm pretty sure we got most of them. Okay, grab that. Very nice. And I don't think I can get up there very quickly without taking out a prior plant. There we go. I'm trying to get as many of these things as possible, whatever they're called, coins, and we get a star power for doing that, which means that we're probably, um, probably not going to get the intended star right now, but we are going to grab a different one, because there is a gold chain chomp on this planet, which I thought was going to actually appear on the, uh, the button, the, on the, uh, what's it called? Never mind, I'm just going to leave it at that. I thought there was going to be one of these chain chomps in a different level, and then it didn't happen, so I... yeah. It might still happen, and I don't know, but we'll find out. And if not, it's fine. But this gold chain chomp, once we destroy it with the rainbow star, just gives us another star. So that means it's another star to our collection, which was fairly easy to get, and very quick. And now we have three quarters of the stars in the game. Which means we've got a quarter since we beat the game already. That seems like a lot to me. Okay, let's go. Let's do this all again. Basically, don't need to worry about the coin this time since that was just. Uh, to get the rainbow star for that other star. And I can imagine that this would be, that one would be an easy one to miss because of just how very specific it is to get. Oh, I'm going off the edge. Let go, please. Thank you. Everything's fine now. Guess I'll grab that again just so I can, uh, what's it called? Just take out the enemies, all the boulders. On the next planet, I don't need to, but you know, it's satisfying, so might as well. Let's go! Also, Rainbow Star is just fun to run with. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, this planet is not great for this Rainbow Star. You just slow down at every single angle. But I mean, launch stars are cool with it. Kind of. I thought it was going to actually have the, the, the clone trail behind me, but it didn't. Okay, let's spin that in. Just for some coins, I guess. Oh my goodness, <laughs> gravity. Need to get that star piece by going down the opposite way, like this. Also dodging that electric ball at the same time. I feel like ground pounding with the gravity changing like that is probably a bad idea in some cases, because if I'm, I'm worried that I'm just going to ground pound while the gravity is flipping and it's just going to send me flying into death. Okay, let's grab this other star piece down here. What's it called? Launch star piece. Or chip. Oh, and grab that one. There we go. Let's launch onto this place over here where the star is. 
Okay, sign. Billboard. Danger, watch your step. Oh, danger, danger, be, be where, you, where you step. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, it's, it's gone now. But anyway, these platforms here, um, yeah, the gravity is on this specific face. So you, this turning block, you don't want to stand, stand on it too long because if you stand on it too long, you'll fall off. It feels like it's moving around and you should be able to stay on it, but nope, you just die. <laughs> Believe me, I'm pretty sure I've tried that and it did not work out well. So basically it's just these platforms. Oh, uh, where the gravity is. Oh, can I please get that? I don't need it, but I want to grab it anyway. The yellow face is where gravity goes. And it can't be on one of the turning faces. Oh, I especially don't think... Like, if it isn't on this planet, it would be strange because you can actually... Yeah. So you have to be careful on this particular planet because you can walk around on this type of thing and then jump back onto the blocks, but you'll still fall off because the block doesn't go the, all the way around. Like, the, gra the gravity doesn't only goes in one direction still. So you have to be very careful. I mean, if you're just trying to get through by doing the things... Like, if you're just spinning those arrows the way you're trying to do them, it should just work fine, so... And is that the last star of this galaxy, maybe? No. Apparently not. Also, I forgot to be checking the map for com comets, so there's probably none at the moment, and there probably was one before. At the very least, one. Oh, there's a still one there? Uh, what would that be? I guess it's the boss mole thing. Um, Daredevil Comet, probably. I think I want to go probably to Free Slime. I want to get that done now. I don't know what this third star is going to be like, though. It's been a while. Okay. Co hot and cold collide. So the first star, it was all the ice area. The second star was a little bit of ice, and then a little bit of... Uh, then a lot of just lava everywhere. And this one is a combination of both, basically. And I like the way it does that. Although I don't think it's going to be doing it the whole star. But it's still... I'm very pleased with it. We can still skate along this planet and get confused by gravity. But we also need to dodge the fireballs going everywhere and not touch any of the lava. But anyway, here's the launch star, so let's launch if I can. And let's go to a different planet entirely. Okay, this water's going up and down every now and then. Um, I think I need to go over here and then... Oh dear. Get out of the freezing water. Get out of the freezing water. Okay, I think I need to get on this and spin that open. Which is going to allow us to get out of here. But we also need to come back in a second. Once we get this fire flower, so we're going to need to get that. I think we get that by ground pounding one of these. Or maybe ground pounding these things might give that open that up for us, maybe? Oh, hello, lava. One side's cold water, one side's lava. Just go quickly. Okay, I think that over there maybe is what I need to hit, possibly. Oh, don't die. Or possibly this one over here. It might just be all of them over here, possibly. Oh no, there's this thing over here that I need to unscrew. Oh, good. Get I think I'm gonna die if I stand here too long. Cutscene, cutscene. Oh, bad, 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 bad. I'm fine. Okay, well, that's that all done. So let's grab this fire flower. And let's head back to the other side of the planet. Okay, we need to not touch the water, I believe. But we need to get over to, over the, to these two torches. 
over here and light them up. We could take out the enemies for star bits, but I'm just going to launch star out of there. And now we've seen this area before, back when we did um, the cosmic Mario race thing here. Uh, but it was all ice before, and now it's half ice, half lava, and we get an ice flower, which allows us to create ice platform on the lava, which is so cool. Literally. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna grab that to increase that. I believe the ice platforms stay there as long as you've touched the lava, so you don't need to worry about falling off too much. But anyway, spin to keep going. We need to make it to the star now without running out of power. Okay, just gonna slow down now and grab that. There we go. Okay, let's probably check the map to see if there's any comets available to us. Oh, of course, here's the map. Oh, there is a... Yep, there it is. There's the uh, Daredevil run. And also Melty Molt... Uh, Molten Galaxy still has the Daredevil comet there that I need to do. Okay, I believe in myself. I can do this fight, probably. It's always a fight, right? Most of, most of the time. Major Burrows Daredevil Run. It's also interesting because the boss is still chasing after the Star Bunny. Starting off, oh my goodness, I just walked straight into it because it didn't bounce out of the ground like I thought it was going to do. I guess I have to be in front of it. Disrupt the earth in front of it so it can, can't can move forward anymore and then bounce out, I guess. Oh, there was, there was still a thing there from last time, I guess. Oh, there we go. I guess it needs to be out of the ground slightly before I actually ground pound. There's the lumen, by the way. Just hanging around. Okay, it's time to fight this boss. There we go, and spin to win. Here he come. Oh, hello. Okay, here he comes. Ground pound! Oh my goodness, that was close. To death. And there we go. Luckily, you only have to hit him twice in an actual fight, because the first hit, when you have to just get the bunny free, I guess, counts. Galaxy complete. Very nice. That's what I like to see. Especially when it's a, a level that I've spent a fair bit of time in. Now I'm pretty sure there's no comets available right now, right? Yeah. It, it does seem to be like that. Um. Oh, there's a secret one in Freeze Flame? I guess there would be. Uh, before I do that, I can't... Oh, uh, no. I'll, just, I'll, I'll stick around here a little bit longer. Let's do Dusty Dune Galaxy. Sunbaked Sand Castle. This one's a uh uh, and it's a fun, it's fun, it's a fun one. Okay, well anyway, if we ground pound the switch, 
this platform rises. We can do stuff with that, like collecting star bits. We also need to make sure we don't get crushed by stuff above us. So, we need to pay attention to the shadows of things above. There's also that life up trim there. And here's the launch star, so let's go to the next planet. Okay, we need to collect... Oh, I was stuck in the sand. We just need to jump to get out. We need to collect... Uh, what's they called? Launch star fragments, or chips. And let's see how well we can do that. There's one over here. I don't think I can backflip with this, but I can side flip, and that's a good in-between thing. I can also probably... Wall jump? No, I can't wall jump. Oh, I can wall jump with a shell. That's actually kind of impressive. Just need to actually hold the direction. Oh, please, Mario. How did we, how, how did Mario get up here with a shell? Oh, wow, that nearly went badly. It sent me flying backwards just randomly. So where is the last star chip? There. With these dry bones. They were inside of the tower when it when we made it rise, so they appeared now. But anyway, let's just make that sink back down into the sand. And we might need to go back to the other... Other... Ow. The other... Panel. Actually, maybe we don't, because I could just wall jump up, can't I? I guess that yeah, doesn't matter, anyway. Oop. This is a thing here. Let's take you out. And the sound of this planet goes up and down. After a amount of time passing, so... It means we can do different things. Depending on... The tide, I guess, of the sand. But anyway, let's launch or sling ourselves over to this planet here. And we want to... Uh, we need to send some coconuts up there. Probably only one. But we can send as many as we need up there, so... It's a cool concept of actually just kicking them up to the other planet. Anyway, let's head back to this planet then. And let's see if I can actually hit this thing first try and then bounce off of it. <laughs> I really only needed one. Okay, let's launch. And it's time for the sandcastle, as it's called. Well, there's the star. Just need to get in there. I guess it can't be that difficult. Oh, I'm stuck in the sand again. So, I believe there's a box around here that we can break open. Uh, but be warned, this is a uh, lava rising in a second here. And if you don't like lava rising, then you have been warned. I know that some people don't like that. I mean, I used to not like that, so... So, the sand is now... coming up because we're, the tower is sinking. So let's go quickly. If we can, we can do certain skips with our moveset to make things a little bit easier for ourselves. Oh, unless I do that and get stuck, taking more time. The camera automatically moves around as we go around. Oh, go Mario. Go. No, Mario, get up. Don't get crushed, don't get crushed, don't get crushed, don't get crushed. Don't get crushed, don't get crushed. Mario would crush me if you crushed yourself. There we go, we made it out. As long as we're here, we don't think the sand can actually get to us. Actually, it might. I risked this la- risk- No, it stopped, okay. So once you get to this point, you're safe, so. I didn't exactly feel safe in the glass container. <laughs> that was just gonna crush me. If it sank any further down. But there we go. Don't think that's everything in that galaxy yet. And I think there was actually a Luma there that I didn't do. Oh, also Speedy Comet, and also... Looks like there's a hidden green star in this level. According to the thing up there. 
But let's do the speedy comet here. And I'm probably gonna regret this. Speedy Comet in orbit! Sandblast speedrun. Oh, this one. Right. This is gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be a time, let me tell you. Go faster, 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 go faster. Go faster, 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 go faster. I'm wasting time. Okay. Get up, Mario. I might grab a coin so I don't die. Okay, go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, Mario. No star on that planet that time. Go! And now we need to collect the blue pulsar chips quickly, which is difficult because you can't get them all in one run. Although maybe you could, but no, you can't. Okay, break that please, thank you. Let's grab this shell and go back in. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? There. Go, 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 go. I can't stop it. No. Okay, go fast, go fast, go fast, go faster, go faster. I'm I'm just talking to myself, don't worry. It's normal, right? Okay, there it is. Just need to stay on target and then go. Okay, let's pull ourselves, please. There we go. Camera had to adjust itself. Okay, I think I have to spin there. Don't fall in the sand. Uh, which way? This way. It's got a, a lot less area. I feel like I made a mistake. I feel like I made a mistake. Not gonna lie, I feel like I've made a terrible, horrible mistake. I feel very upset about this. Please tell me there's another way out of here. Yes. I don't think that's a good idea. Let me just leave that there. I mean, it stops the terrifying music. Actually, the, no, the timer's still going. No mind, it looked like it wasn't for a little bit. Oh, get up there. I kind of, I think that was actually faster because I think it skipped a bit. Oh, but I also have to do this bit as well. So I think I took the right path then. I mean, I wasted a bit of time because I was standing around wondering if I've made a mistake. But no, I'm fine now. So let's slam that down and let's go to the other side. Okay. I believe in myself and there's no enemies or whatever the, the tornadoes here to get in my way. Okay, triple jump. Oh no, 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 no. Get up there, Mar. Get up there, Mar. There we go. That was terrifying. Okay. Very nice. Guess we can head back into another level now to get another star. Because we just did the comet. And they seem to go back and forth for some reason. So, let's do... Let's get another secret one in this one. In Dusty Dune. Uh, which one do I want to get? Um, uh, I feel like that should be the other way around, but alright. Let's do Blasting Through the Sand. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's just go. You know? Let's just go. Don't have to worry about being fast this time. Get up, please. I beg you. 
There we go, take out its head. And then we need to get the Luma Star on this planet, I believe. Which I guess is the green star, which I don't think it actually is, but I'm I'm just gonna believe the game. Or oh, maybe it is. It's actually very strange though that a green star would be. I am going for the green star, right? I'm, 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 I think. I think I am. But anyway, in this place here, we have to step on this green line, making it red, and then the sand goes. The, the, the tower pyramid thing goes up and down through the sand. We need to collect five silver stars. We can also get on top of some of the edges. I'll grab that. Oh, don't get crushed though. I nearly got crushed. Um, and we need to be extra careful. I believe I want to go up here, probably. I can get up there, so just need a backflip. There we go. We're in here now. <laughs> there's a star. I think there's one over there. Where would another silver star be? Probably over there, to be honest. Don't get crushed. That's a bad idea. Also, we can just get out of this bit from inside of here, but I guess I messed that up, but that's fine. Oh, I'm on the ground? Okay. That works, kind of. Uh, where is this star? Where? There. And I think... Now that the stars appeared, all the sand drains as well. So now we can go get a green star, which is also a Luma star. I'm so surprised that that's a thing. Like, I've seen this game before, but I, sh I really did not realize that. You've managed to recover all of the green power stars and restore and restore the green launch star. Restored would be good, but we get through new galaxy from that. Even I don't know what's waiting for you out there beyond the green launch star. Oh, not much, just the three hardest levels in the game, I think. I could be wrong about that. Let me actually go see what they have. Oh, also Toad has a letter for us, apparently. That's that sound. You have a letter from Luigi. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me. Ah, <sighs> Luigi. Hmm, where is this place? It looks familiar, but then again. Let me give you this picture so you won't forget where Luigi is. To view a picture, press the plus button and in the letter screen icon in the pause screen. Okay. So... I would go do a comet or those new galaxies now, but I'm just going to go say hello to Luigi in Honey Hive Galaxy. Also, the picture is a little bit misleading because of where specifically he is, because it looks like the tree is closer to that half of the level, but it's that tree right there next to the cave on the left. So. We need to get over there. So let's do that. Okay. Just don't get hit by the boulder. And now, now do I need to actually... Oh, do I need the bee mushroom? I don't think I do. I'm pretty sure... No, I do. Cool. <laughs> that, that explains everything. I understand perfectly now, I think. Maybe? But how do I get across? But, 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 but how, but, but how? How, how do you get across? I don't know. Maybe you take out this one? No. None of those give me the thing, do they? I don't think so. So maybe I need... Am I wrong about where he is? I could, I could just be wrong. Please. There we go. We can get up that slope as be Mario. 
apparently. Oh, why? I can probably get up there. There we go. You can get a lot higher than it lo looks like you can, but anyway. Here's Luigi, so let's just spin the tree. I don't think I can be myself to get him out of the tree, though. Well, I can't be B Mario, so I have to spin? Hang on. Spin Luigi. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, hey, bro. I hid because of that big scary bug. <sighs> I found a power star, so let's go home. You tried, Luigi. You tried. This star was definitely grabbed. This was this is the star I got, not you. It's a me, Luigi. <laughs> I still love that. But anyway, I believe now we've completed this dome. That's pretty good. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.